Hey besties, hi bestie. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is 27th of May, when I'm starting to write this script and it's my channel's 2 year anniversary today. So I thought why not recreate my first ever video which was very surprisingly an unpopular K-pop opinions video. I know, I know, very creative. So today we are going to be reviving this old trend and discuss some of my new unpopular opinions. Which might get me cancelled, but at this point, who cares? So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. Then yes, there will be some casualties. Yes, there will. Okay. TikTok is a very interesting app. It's as good as it gets, and as worse as it could get. Not that I don't love spending hours and hours scrolling through TikTok. It's just that most, if not all idols on that app are doing something cringe. The filters and the effects that pinch their faces make them look two times smaller and three times lighter just aren't doing anything for me. Plus the content is most of the time just straight. Up cringe. Other than that I have one more complain. Ever since TikTok has gone mainstream and has revived so many different songs from artists, I feel like K-pop companies have started to realize its power and are now trying to make TikTok worthy songs and specially TikTok worthy dances. Take some of Zozo's choreography for example and tell me that doesn't look like a dance solely made to go viral on TikTok. Many TikTok dances aren't necessarily bad, but I think that K-pop is losing its essence and that charm it had, especially in the choreography department ever, since going big on TikTok has become a trend. I know that many people won't have a problem with it, but I just seem to have a problem with it. Anyways TXT best TikTokers from all K-pop idols, I said what I said. Oh. Luna used to be everyone's favorite, even the people who didn't stand Luna, had Chu in their profiles and Ejin in their crush lists, but these days I'm noticing how Luna are being forgotten by K-pop stands, and I blame that on BBC, of course for giving them back to back shitty comebacks and that too, with such big hiatuses. I feel like newer girl groups like Kepler or Nmix have now become the token girl group for most K-pop stands when that once used to be Luna, if only BBC had followed their pre-debut strategy, which by the way, was a genius move and gave them the initial hype that set them up for success, but the declining music quality and the gap between the comebacks just counterbalanced their pre-debut success, honestly speaking. I too, had quite forgotten about them, until I went to search up their queendom performance, but they were absent from the first round due to you know what, let's just hope they get better, and get famous and mainstream again through this new opportunity. Cut the cameras. Dead end. Music is subject, in fact all sources of art are subjective, they are adored and loathed both at the same time just by different sets of audiences, but I hate when K-pop stands try to justify shitty music production by bringing forth the matter of subjectivity, I agree that people can like different things, sometimes unusual things too, but that doesn't mean that there are no metrics to measure the quality of a song. The amount of auto-tune, and how it's used, the pitch, the mixing, the production, the lyrics and so much more are all indicators of how well a song is made, and to deny the flaws that these departments can have just to say that your faves can't put out a bad song is just stupid to me. No one is shaming you for liking a song, it's just that some songs are just not made right and need to be criticized, that's all that is. I really wish I didn't had to say this out loud, but I think girl groups these days are just trying to imitate boy groups. The imitation is as accurate as boy groups trying to do girl group covers, but still the resemblance is uncanny, from the over-aggressive concepts to the, the even more aggressive and noisy sounding songs. I can't help but think of boy groups whenever I'm listening to these type of songs, girl groups these days especially. 
The fourth gen girl groups have started doing this hardcore concept more and more these days, and even as someone who likes girl crush concept a lot, I think it's become way too overdone at this point, and it has basically lost the sexy and elegant touch it used to have back then, it's more of the same I'm myself, no one's better than me, there's not really anything inherently bad with this type of message, but the way that it's portrayed. I have also noticed a decline in cute concepts or mainly any concept that isn't hardcore girl crush and doesn't require you to break your back because the choreography is just so damn hard and even the groups that are doing the cute concept are somewhat making that hardcore to like I don't know how to explain this but I think we have lost the spice that girl group music used to have and now all we have is just 4th gen girl groups singing about how good they are, while doing extreme gymnastics on the stage, and not singing live at all. Oops, better delete that. Yes, I said it. I know that I will get a lot of hate for saying this, but... Don't you know I'm a savage? The girl is a average at best, and I'm saying this in the most respectful way possible. Honestly, there is nothing wrong with being average. There are many good K-pop groups with great music, and so many listeners, that are also average at best. I think ever since Ispa debuted, people have kind of been making a bigger deal out of them than they really are. Their concept is great, but isn't done right at all. Their music videos are all green screened, and doesn't make any sense half the time. Their AI counterparts appear at random times, to do random mass dance move, and doesn't contribute to their virtual concept in any shape or form. The members can sing. Yes, they do have nice voices but nothing extraordinary or evolutionary, the rappers aren't as good but okay, I see potential, their choreographies are mediocre at best, Black Mamba was still the best choreography from them, and that wasn't even that good, they have no stage presence minus Ning Ning on a good day, half of the time the girls look bored, or out of the performance and their songs are what you would expect a girl group to release. In this era and time period, plus they don't have much music to already be able to judge them on versatility and such stuff, apart from being a girl group from SM and still being treated somewhat right, there's nothing extraordinary about them, so yeah Ispa aren't anything crazy at all, so I don't see why people are always shoving Ispa down other people's throats. I was scrolling through my TikTok, and I saw many videos doing the 11 challenge, which made me check out the song 11 by Ive, but boy oh boy, disappointment is an understatement to what I had felt at that moment, apart from the chorus the whole song sucks, that slowed part in the pre-chorus especially was, so random and unnecessary. I think that slow down part alone was enough to kinda ruin the song for me, it would have been much better if that was just reserved for the bridge of the song or even the ending as it wouldn't have messed with the flow of the song. Also one thing I noticed was how the music video was just them dancing in different settings. It's not necessary for each music video to have a storyline, but shouldn't there be a difference between a music video and just a performance video? Anyways guys that's pretty much all of my K-pop opinions for now, I think that's enough content to get myself cancelled for today, feel free to comment your thoughts in the comments down below, thanks for watching as always, subscribe if you would like to see more shitty content from this channel, or don't if you don't feel like it, and I'll see you guys, hopefully soon, in my next video till then bye and take care.